بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello my dear fifth primary student In the first math lesson On the live broadcast uh, platform Supervised by Ministry of Education Okay let's start With unit 7 Adding and subtracting fraction Concept 7.1 Adding and subtracting, subtracting fraction With unlike it With unlike denominator. Okay, we have four lessons in this unit. Lesson number one: find like denominator using LCM. You remember LCM from uh, primary four. Lesson two: using model to add and subtract fraction with unlike denominator. Lesson three: adding and subtracting fraction with unlike denominators. And last one: lesson four: use estimation to check. That your answer is reasonable. Okay, let's start today. Our objective is first one, generate pair of fractions with like denominator. Second one, adding and subtracting fraction with unlike denominator. Third one, you to assess the reasonableness of answer. Okay, let's start with warm up. This is a simple question. You can see two uh, pi, one fourth and one fourth. What fraction of uh, cheddar cheese wheel do we have in total? Fourth plus fourth equal what? Tell me in chat. Okay, excellent. Two fourths or two quarter or or half half pizza. Okay. Second question here. He gave me six sheep and he told me give cars to one six is one over six of the sheep by clicking them. We will choose one six. Is. Okay, excellent. Now we want to give motorbike to one over two or half of the sheep by clicking them. What is half of six sheep? Most of set again. Three, excellent. Three sheep will have motorbike. What fraction of sheep have vehicle? What fraction of sheep have vehicle in total? Let's count how many in car? One, one over six. Thank you. And how many in uh, motorbike? Three, three over six. One over six equal, equal what? Equal four over six. Can I simplify this? Fraction? Yes, I can simplify by divided by two, the numerator and the denominator. Two divided, four divided by two equal what? Two, and six divided by two equal three. If a two third is the answer. Okay, four over six or two third. Four over six or two third. Thank you. We finish warm up now and we start learn. Together, let's read this question. He gave me multiplication chart and told me use this multiplication chart to find like denominator and rewrite one of the fraction to so that they have the same denominator. Okay, well, what fraction I have? Half and five over eight. First thing, we will start from the smallest denominator. What is the smallest denominator? Excellent, two, one over two. Where is the, what is the multiples of two? Multiples of two and multiples of eight. Why? To choose the lowest common multiples. This is the lowest common multiples here. Uh, the multiples of two, two, four, 6, 8, 10, and so on. And multiples of 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Okay, how many common multiples? Let's color it. I can see 8, 8. Okay, what else? 16, 16. Okay. 24 and 24. Okay, which one I will choose? I will choose the lowest one. Excellent, my dear student. The sure the lowest one is the lowest one is eight. Okay, I will change 
the first fraction if I, I will change 2 in the first denominator to be 8 okay let's see together 1 over 2 equal how many over 8 excellent 4 over 8 1 half of 2 4 or half of 8 okay now we solve the question because we have like denominator if we rewrite the first fraction to be the like denominator 8 here and 8 here okay can I choose can I use the second multiple is 16 yes of course I can use 16 as like denominator type what uh, 1 over ha uh, half equal how many over 16 excellent 8 over 16 and here when I change the denominator 8 لما غير ال 8 تبقى 16 how by multiply by 2 excellent the same time I will multiply 5 by 2 equal 10 why I multiply the numerator and the denominator because this is the same fraction when I multiply the numerator I should multiply the denominator in the same number okay another question here I have two fraction one sixes and one sixes and one ninths okay now how can I use uh, multiplication chart to how can I use multiplication chart to make the two fraction has the same denominator excellent first thing we should highlight the multiples of 6 and multiples of 9 the multiples of two denominator I should highlight the denominator the, uh, the multiples of 6 and the multiples of 9 in the multiplication chart multiples of 6 here 6 12 and so on multiples of 9 9 18 and so on. okay where is the lowest common multiples the lowest common multiples where is the lowest common multiples excellent I see this is 18 excellent the lowest common multiples is 18 here and here I will choose 18 let's choose 18 together okay now I will change the denominator to 18 here and 18 here okay 6 multiply what equal 18 excellent 6 multiply 3 so that I will multiply 1 1 times 3 equal 3 here 9 multiply what equal 18 excellent 9 multiply 2 9 multiply 2 I will multiply 1 by 2 equal 2 so okay we finish we have two fraction with like denominator can I use the uh, other multiples I can use 36 as a common multiples and the answer will be 6 over 36 and 4 over 36 now let's see another question we have what we have two fraction 1 over 4 9 over 12 ah uh, what are the steps first step we should highlight the multiples of the two denominator ah uh, what is the multiples of 4 and multiples of 12 multiples of 12 for 24 36 and so on multiples of 4 8 12 and so on like we see multiples of 4 4 8 12 multiples of 12 12 24 36 which one i will choose excellent five, fifth primary student i will choose the lowest one lowest common multiple it's and it's what it is 12 and it's 12 okay let's see the answer together the answer will be when i change 4 to 12 all my i multiply by 3 so that i will multiply 1 times 3 equal 3 and the second fraction i multiply 12 by 1 so that the 9 will be will never change thank you okay now we can add and subtract fraction because we know how can we use unlike denominator after what after we 
after we find the common denominator let's read together use the fraction wall to evaluate each sum of difference okay first question one third plus five over six equal I will use I will use fraction wall. Where is fraction wall? This is fraction wall. First fraction third. Let's see third equal how many sixes? Let's see together. Six equal excellent two sixes like we see. I can I can change the denominator three and write it write it what three. Uh, I will change third and choose two sixes. Now two sixes plus three sixes, two over six plus three over six equal five over six. Okay, another question. Okay, five over uh, one third, two sixes plus three sixes equal what? Five. Sixes. Thank you. Okay, another question. Read together. One half minus two sixes. Okay. Are the denominator common? No. There is unlike denominator. Which one I will change? I will change a half. Half. Look together. Half equal how many sixes? Look together. Half equal how many sixes? Excellent. Three sixes. And three sixes minus two sixes equal one sixes. Let's see in the fraction wall. Three sixes minus two sixes in green and blue equal one six. I can use a front denominator. I can use another denominator, common denominator. When I use 12 as a common denominator when I use 12 as common denominator يلا نشوف مع بعض لو استخدمنا 12 عندنا 1 half equal how many 12 is 1 half equal how many 12 is excellent 6 over 12 6 over 12 now 6 over 12 plus 6 over 12 and 2 6 is equal how many 12 is? لو انا استخدمت 12 is لو انا استخدمت 12 as common denominator let's see half equal how many 12 is? 6 12 6 12 6 over 12 and 2 6 is equal how many how many 12 is? excellent 2 over 12 4 over 12 okay and 6 over 12 minus 4 over 12 equal 2 over 12 but 2 over 12 i can simplify it 2 over 12 equal 1 over 6 okay here another question 7 over 8 minus 3 over 4 we will choose we will use we will use fraction wall let's start let's highlight 3 over 4 3 over 4 ha equal how many 8 i want to choose the common denominator the denominator here 8 and the denominator here here 4 3 4 equal how many 8 let's see together how many 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 8 okay if we will change 3 4 to 6 8 7 eighths minus 6 eighths equal 1 eighth. Now another question. But read with me. He wants me to evaluate. Then use estimation. بعد ما حل أعمل estimation. أخ... يعني أشوف الحل بتاعي. قريب من الصح. يعني أتأكد من الحل بتاعي هل هو معقول ولا لا. Reasonable or not. 3 over 4 and 5 over 12. First step, I will use fraction wall to find the common denominator. Okay, I have three fourths. Three fourths here. Where is this? Three fourths equal how many twelfths? Let's see together. How many twelfths? Equal 
9 over 12 x1 9 over 12 plus 5 over 12 equal 14 over 12 now let's use estimation now let's do estimation let's see together 3 fourths near to half or one whole it's larger than half it's near to one whole and uh, 4 12 5 fifths 12 is it's larger than half okay and when i add 5 12 the answer is one whole or one whole and a part it's one whole and near to half okay what what do you think about our uh, solution reasonable or not reasonable i think it's re reasonable i think let's take last question today okay the last one we have 5 over 6 minus 3 over 8 highlight with me 5 over 6 ah this is like denominator or not like or unlike denominator excellent unlike i have 6 in the first fraction and 8 in the second fraction okay which uh, which multiples is the common multiples i will use what thank you excellent i will use the i will use multiplication chart let's highlight together highlight okay let's highlight multiples of six and multiples of eight what is the common multiples here i see the first one is 24 here 24 here and 24 <coughs> here i will use 24 okay 5 over 6 6 change to 24 multiply by what 4 so that i will multiply 5 also with 4 5 times 4 equal 20 thank you the second uh, fraction 24 3 3 divide 3 8 multiply 8 multiply 3 okay so that i will multiply 3 by 3 equal 9 and 20 over 24 minus 9 over 24 equal 11 over 24 now let's use the benchmark to uh, to estimate the answer. summary now let's uh, let's do a summary of our first lesson uh, today we learn how to make two common two fraction with common with like denominator second thing that we learn today we add and subtract a fraction with unlike denominator after find the common denominator okay last thing we use benchmark fraction to assess the reasonableness of answer okay thank you for your help today كان معكم مستر احمد كمال دسوقي معلم الماس بوزاره التربيه والتعليم goodbye